I'm Jay Arnold. I chair the City Council's Finance and Administration Committee. Now, it starts right here at City Hall with the building itself. In 2016, instead of building a new building, we actually remodeled this 30-year-old building. We put on a new roof, made seismic upgrades, and really changed the design to focus on customer service. The city has won awards for its financial reporting and transparency, and we maintain a AAA credit rating, which means we're paying less in interest costs providing more money for services. The city also measures its price of government. This is a metric that talks about the affordability of city services. And currently Kirkland has a 3.6% price of government, well below the national standard target of about 5%. We do face some challenges ahead. You may remember in 2011, Kirkland annexed Finn Hill, Kingsgate, North Juanita neighborhoods. The state provided financial support by taking the sales tax that the state collects in those neighborhoods and giving it to the city of Kirkland for 10 years. In 2021, that annexation sales tax credit expires, leaving a $4 million a year revenue gap. Now, we've known this has been coming. We've been setting aside reserves. The council has pursued an aggressive economic development strategy. We're starting to see results in Totem Lake and in downtown Kirkland. But the city, under state law, cannot run a deficit, and we will not. So we've got to be vigilant in our budget priorities to close that gap. We really want to hear from you. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Your involvement makes the city a better place.